Welcome back. So today's video is on the Panthalassa Ancient Ocean. It's a super ocean. Now, we look at the Pacific today as our modern day largest ocean, which covers basically nearly half of the world's Earth's surface, and it's huge. And the other oceans, the Atlantic, the Indian, and the Southern, and the Arctic. Now, they're divided by the geographic location of the continents and land masses based on their movement through plate tectonics. Now, this image right here is of Pangaea, a supercontinent formed with Gondwana land and Laurentia joined together about 300 million years ago and then broke up between 150 to, to 100 million years ago. And the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea formed our modern day five oceans and seas. Now back when Pangaea was fully formed, you had this massive ocean covering the majority of the Earth's surface, which was called Panthalassa. Now, there was a small kind of added sea between modern-day Eurasia and modern-day Africa called the Tethys Sea. Now, this Tethys Sea was equatorial, it was tropical, but you had the same sort of movements and dynamics we see today in the modern oceans, but with a much larger version in Panthalassa. Now, Panthalassa is one of many super oceans, but the most recent super ocean in Earth's history. Now, there was a super ocean around the ancient supercontinent of Rodinia about 1.3 billion years ago, but Panthalassa is the most recent one and does show you how the oceans change and move based on the position of the continents. So this massive ocean would have been teeming with life just like on land with the age of dinosaurs and the Panthalassic Ocean would be formed and full of large prehistoric animals itself. Mm -hmm. 